Hey guys, and welcome back to Mary J's Hauls, and thank you for watching like my chronic illness vlog, I guess. And it didn't really start out like that. I was just searching for a cure for one of my autoimmune diseases, which spiraled into a whole nother realm of their own as I have gained so much knowledge about taking things outside of the doctor's office when they usually just hand me a prescription to say, you know, it's an unknown autoimmune disorder and just keep taking this highly toxic medication, which has several repercussions on my liver and now I am working to solve my liver damage caused by my doctors. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Um, so let's get into it. What is mold toxicity and what are the side effects? So many people that don't know they have this really do have it. So if you experience a lot of different things in your body that don't feel right and you just say like, this is not normal, then you could be suffering from mold toxicity and it can be really hidden. So mold toxicity can happen from a plethora of different things. Being around mold, eating too many mushrooms, having black mold growing, being in a building that had water damage. And it could have been water damage in the past, but it is still growing mold through the walls. It could be liquid in the carpet that's growing mold. So sometimes this mold isn't visible. And guys, I've put out a video talking about how to treat mold toxicity. It's a multiple step program and it is all natural and I have been doing it myself so don't think I'm just doing this blindly. Um, but the repercussions of that, there are so many immense benefits. Even if you don't have mold toxicity, you should go ahead and watch that video because the medications that I listed there, the natural supplements, are immensely helpful and a lot of people do not know of these things. Some of them I had never heard of before researching them but now I am full in force into my gut health because this stems from the gut, guys, um, or at least lives in the gut. Mold toxicity lives in the gut. So one of the biggest factors of mold toxicity, and I will list a test below too, guys, that you can click the link and buy the test. It's an at-home test. It's a dry urine test. Um, it's really great. It shows you all the different strains of mold that you have in your body and at what levels and if they're at dangerous levels. Even if you have come, your test comes back and it says low levels, you might as well go ahead and start buying some of the products that I've listed in my last video. I will put it somewhere in here. I never know what's going to turn out right. So it's going to be on one side, but let's get into it. What are the side effects? Because these are highly common things that people deal with on an everyday and doctors just write them off as you just got to get over it. That's normal. Everybody feels these. So it's not normal. You should be feeling healthy, happy, and lively. So most of the mold we encounter throughout the day is harmless, but certain types of mold procedures produce chemicals that are toxic. Mold toxic exposure can be serious can cause serious diseases from autoimmune diseases to cancer and it can build up in your system and lead to a whole host of symptoms. So if you guys experience fatigue, that's definitely one that I had been feeling for the last like three years. Every day I would wake up and feel like a slug, like just a shell of a body living inside. Like uh, I just felt like goo. And the only way for me to feel better was to work out and I kind of became an addiction. Um, so it was, but as I'm working through it, I feel myself literally feeling more alive each day and it's making me want to let work out less but I'm, I'm sticking with it guys so if you're feeling a chronic burning in the throat or nasal passages coughing wheezing shortness of breath loss of balance or vertigo depression or anxiety yes it can affect your mood and your psychosis and the medications that doctors might give you also will affect those things too as I got super depressed super high anxiety from the medications my doctors were giving me and they did not val validate that mold toxicity was a real thing they kept saying it's not a real thing it is a real thing and it affects way more people than you know so skin issues and rashes I suffer from chronic idiopathic urticaria again my doctors told me it was a unknown autoimmune disorder and to keep taking these toxic medications to suppress my immune system to turn it off so I'm not helping fix anything. I'm literally sticking a toxic Band-Aid over it, which is exposing me to a whole range of different kinds of issues that can occur when your immune system is turned off. It is never good for your immune system to be turned off. So guys, if you are suffering from certain rashes or anything or asthma or anything like that, and they have you on steroids, stop taking them. I know it will help you on your day to day or at least start weaning off of them and start watching my videos because I figured it out. Like I figured my stuff out and I'm seeing real time results. So 
in addition to the ish skin issues and rashes, that can even be eczema, hives, anything like that. It can also cause eye irritation or tearing of the eyes, headache or light sensitivity, which I experienced a lot. Hearing loss, again, I experienced that. Heightened sensitivity to chemicals in food, irregular heartbeat, morning stiffness and joint pain, once again, me. Um, sleep problems, muscle weakness, poor memory and difficulty finding words. Slower reaction time, vision changes, difficulty concentrating, super hard for me to concentrate. It was abnormal, like so abnormal. I felt like I couldn't, I couldn't participate in normal day-to-day -day activities. Um, abdominal pain, bloating, diarrhea. I experienced all those, except mine ended up being more constipation than diarrhea. Unusual skin sensations, tingling, and numbness. And that was a big one for me. My toes, literally, they wouldn't even be cold. It would just go numb, like numb, numb. Increased urinary frequency or increased thirst, disorientation and dizziness, static shocks and metallic taste in the mouth. And yes, all of these can be traced back to mold and mold toxicity. So my mycotoxins, mycotoxins. Um, and it is highly important that your body gets the level of glutathione that it needs in order to detoxify some of these things. But guys, 100% go back and watch my video of the regimens because certain things help promote the glutathione levels in the body and make sure that the glutathione is being used properly in order to help detoxify these things. So it is highly important that you include other things in your regimen, such as NAC um, and vi buffered vitamin C. So definitely go watch that video. Thank you so much for watching my video today. If you guys like this video, make sure to like it, subscribe, and comment below if you're feeling any of these symptoms because it totally could be mold toxicity. And if you've suffered from mold toxicity in the past, I would love to hear how you fixed it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day.